for you today. So let's get busy and meet our players right away, shall we? First, from Clio High School returning, we have Zach Neff. Zach is a sophomore, plays soccer, he's in marching band and quiz ball. Uh, he's a math award winner with high honors. He's listed in who's who among American high school students, looking for a degree in criminal justice and or forestry. Next for Clio, we have Stephen Miller. Stephen's a senior, active with Science Olympiad, band and jazz band. Member of the National Honor Society is looking to Western Michigan to become a biology forensics major. Stephen Kandau is the captain of the Clio team. Stephen is a senior, uh, active with Symphonic Band and Science Olympiad. He's a TV5 and McDonald's High School Scholar Athlete of the Week. He's an academic big nine for cross country and track. He plans on attending Central Michigan University to pursue a career in music education. And rounding out the Clio team is Brett Sanborn. Brett is a senior member of Science Olympiad, the tennis team, band, jazz band, and National Honor Society. He plans on attending Alma College, where he will study to be a biology teacher. Those are our returning players from Clio High School. Now, for the first time this season, we meet our team from Owasso. There we have Ellie Weisenbaugh. Ellie's a junior, act, has her academic letter, would like to be accepted into a prestigious university and hope to go on for a doctorate degree. Megan Dwyer is a junior at Owasso. She is in the choir. She has her academic of letter. She is a CHAMPS member listed in Who's Who in America and hopes to go to Cambridge and study cultural and political anthropology. Nolan Esser is the captain of the Owasso team. Nolan's a junior, active with Odyssey of the Mind, enjoys astronomy, reading, is a member of the National Honor Society, has his academic letter, is a Champs Math Program winner, a college, uh, has college credit in philosophy at Michigan State, and uh, hopes to go on to the University of Chicago to get a PhD in astrophysics, eventually to win the Nobel Prize, it says here. Good luck. Next is uh, Steve Summers. Steve is a junior at Owasso. His plans for the future include Michigan Tech and eventually to become a computer systems analyst. Those are our players for today's game. I remind you that representing uh, GISD as our judge is Julie Pritchett. Our scorekeeper for today's game is Marissa Sand. Teams, we're ready to go. Here are your rules for round one. I'm about to ask you a series of questions worth 10 points apiece. The player buzzing first may answer when I recognize you. If you're correct, your team scores the 10 points. If you're incorrect, the other team gets a shot at the same question. Remember, you may interrupt me at any time I'm asking a question. No point penalties for incorrect answers. However, at that point, I will repeat the entire question for the other team. Good luck. Here we go. No man is an island is the first line of a famous devotion by this metaphysical poet and preacher. Who was he? Time's up. John Donne is what I needed. The ancient hanging gardens of Babylon were irrigated by water pumped from this near... Uh, Brett Clio. Uh, three. That's incorrect. The ancient hanging bar gardens of Babylon were irrigated by water pumped from this nearby river. What river was it? <laughs> Nolan Owasso. The Tigris? The other one. The Euphrates. Here's your next toss-up. The yellow part of a bird's egg is the yolk. What's the white part? Uh, Nolan Owasso? The albumen. That's correct. In 1952, CBS television used a UNIVAC computer to predict a presidential election for the first time. Which candidate? Uh, Stephen K. Clio. Dewey. Dewey's incorrect. In 1952, CBS television used the UNIVAC computer to predict a presidential election for the first time. Which candidate? Uh, Nolan Owasso. Eisenhower. Eisenhower is correct. Of the following four states, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, and Montana, which is closest in size to Japan? Stephen K. Clio. Maryland. Maryland's incorrect. Owasso Nolan? Montana. Montana is correct. <laughs> of the five regular or platonic solids, three have the same regular polygon for faces. What is this? Uh, Nolan Owasso. Triangle. More specific. Equilateral tri triangle. That's correct. <laughs> Your next toss-up. 
No babies were born in England between September 3rd and September 13th, 1752, because when this new calendar was adopted, September 2nd was followed uh, Stephen K. Clio. The Gregorian calendar? Gregorian is correct. In her tale, a knight must answer the question, what does a woman like best? What independent woman tells uh, Zach Clio? The wife of Bath tale? Wife of Bath is correct. His name was Eric Thorvaldson. He discovered Greenland. Uh, Stephen K. Clio. Eric the Red. Say again. Eric the Red. That's correct. Eep, Verdun, and Somme were all battles fought uh, no one, Owasso. World War I? World War I is correct. <laughs> Which of the following is not part of the Pacific Island group known as Oceania? Would it be Melanesia, Micronesia, Polynesia, or Indonesia? Uh, no one, Owasso. Indonesia? Indonesia is correct. <laughs> It's the average height of a player in the NBA within one inch. How tall? Uh, Nolan Owasso. 6'7". Six, 6'7 seven. Six, seven is incorrect. Clio Stephen K. 6'10". Also incorrect. 6'5". So I needed 6'6 six, six at the high end to take that. If your blood has A antigens, it's type A. If it has B antigens, you're type B. What's your blood type? Uh, Nolan Owasso. O. O is correct. <laughs> to get his New Deal program through, uh, Nolan Owasso. Franklin, <clears throat> excuse me, Franklin Roosevelt. It's incorrect. To get his New Deal programs through, FDR tried to pack the Supreme Court with more justices. How many did FDR want? Uh, Stephen K. Clio. Five. That's incorrect. He wanted a total of 15. Here's your next toss-up. I didn't Sorry. start it, Sorry. so I, I'm not going to penalize you. If, if I had gotten a word out, I would have had to call on you, but I didn't start it. This novel by John Steinbeck includes a long journey from uh, Brett Clio. Grapes of Wrath. Grapes of Wrath is correct. In 1992, when the Army's Humvee was sold to the public, he bought the first one at a cost of more than $100,000. Who is this California, uh, L.A. Owasso? Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's correct. <laughs> it was the principal form of painting in colonial America. Was it landscape, portrait, or still life? Nolan Owasso. Portrait. Portrait is correct. <laughs> in 1831, he combined a real platform, divider, knife, guards, and main drive wheel to make the first automated reaper. Uh, Steve Owasso. McCormick. McCormick is correct. <laughs> it was both the Mongolian and the Turkish word for leader. What? Uh, Nolan Owasso. Khan. Khan is correct. In October 2003, he sang the Star Spangled Banner at the opening game of the World Series on the day after he released his first CD. Um, Stephen K. Clio. Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken is correct. <laughs> you say that like you're embarrassed. <laughs> Here's your next toss up. In the Bible, he is said to have gone mad, reduced to eating grass like an ox. Uh, Zach Clio. King Nebuchadnezzar. That's correct. <laughs> the French horn, trumpet, trombone, and two, uh, Nolan Owasso. Brass. Brass is what I'm looking for. <laughs> In geometry, lines meet at a vertex to form an angle. What is the plural of vertex? Uh, Stephen K. Clio. Vertices. Vertices is correct. She was the Greek muse of epic poetry, but her name is more familiar as a steam whistle with a keyboard often heard in circuses. What's the name? Uh, Megan Owasso? Calliope. Calliope is correct. 
In 1944, representatives of the United States, Great Britain, the USSR, and China met to lay the foundations of this uh, Nolan Owasso. United Nations? United Nations is correct. <laughs> Your next toss up. In whose 1895 novel will you find the following lines? Quote, at times, Henry Fleming were uh, Nolan Owasso. Stephen Crane? Stephen Crane is correct. According to Sigmund Freud, the id, the ego, and the superego are the three parts of the personality. Which comes first? Stephen K. Clio. The ego. Incorrect. Owasso. Owasso Nolan. The id. The id is correct. <laughs> Paris has the world's largest population of French-speaking residents. What Canadian city? Uh, Nolan Owasso. Montreal. Montreal is correct. And behind me, I heard the bell to end the first round of play. And as you can see behind me, Clio, you get the first crack of round two. That's our lightning round. I'm about to give you a choice of three categories. Once you've selected, you'll have 60 seconds to answer up to 10 questions in that category. Remember, you may consult during this round. There's no need to buzz in. I will be taking answers from Steve, the team captain. If you don't know an answer, you must say pass before I move on. We'll give you 10 points for each correct answer, a 20-point <coughs> bonus if all 10 are correct. Once your 60 seconds is up, Clio or Wasso, you'll have 30 seconds to answer anything missed, passed on, or that Clio didn't get to, and then we repeat the process. Clio, your choices for this game are You and Me in 1993, Trick or Treat, or Tom, Dick, and Harry. Trick or Treat. Trick or treat. Okay, trick or treat is your category, and we don't intend to trick you, and we hope it'll be a treat. For 10 points, identify these things associated with Halloween. And we begin with number one. This is the date of Halloween. October 31st. Correct. The series of eight horror movies featuring Michael Myers. Halloween. Correct. It only sounds Irish. It's really a carved pumpkin. jack o -lantern. That's correct. There are three of these in the opening scene of Macbeth. Witches. That's correct. The movies Blade, Queen of the Damned, and Underworld are about these undead... Vampires. That's correct. Brendan Fraser starred in this movie in 1999 and its The sequel. Mummy. That's correct. In The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, it chases Ichabod Crane. The Headless Horseman. That's correct. The human one has 206 parts, including the femur and fibula. The skeleton. That's correct. The gunfight at O.K. Corral was fought in this Arizona cow town. Tombstone. That's correct. In the West Indies, it's a dead body brought to life by voodoo. A zombie. And that is 10 out of 10. Well done. <laughs> 120 points to Clio. Owasso, you may now choose between you and me in 1993 or Tom, Dick, and Harry. What do you guys want? Tom, Dick, and Harry seems to be people in Tom, Dick, and Harry. 93 seems to be people in 93. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Okay, just what you were describing to your teammates. These answers are all about Tom's, Dick's, or Harry's, and you'll identify them for me. Um, giving me their full names, we begin with number one. He won Academy Awards for Philadelphia and Fort... Hey. That's correct. He attends the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Harry Potter. That's correct. He's been the anchor for NBC Nightly... Tom Brokaw. That's correct. Captain Ahab chased this whale Toby for... Dick. That's correct. This magician's real name was Eric Weiss. Harry Houdini. Correct. Mark Twain wrote three books Tom about this. Sawyer. That's correct. He was the 33rd president of the United States. Richard Nixon. It's incorrect. He starred in Minority Report, Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise. Say again? Tom Cruise. That's correct. Clint Eastwood played this character in Sudden Impact and Magnum Force. Dirty Harry. That's correct. The title character of Harriet Beecher Stowe's 1852 novel. Uncle Tom. That's correct, and that's good for nine out of ten for Owasso. <coughs> Clio, in 30 seconds, he was the 33rd president of the United States. Harry S. Truman. Harry Truman, that's correct. And that brings us to the end of round two. A lot of points to total up. We'll be doing that, but first... I want to introduce you to some folks from Clio. The coach of Clio High School's team is Damon Juritich. 
And alternates with Damon today are Ricky Frazier and Barbara Janeski. And with that, we're going to take a break and return for some extra credit in just a moment. Everyone, we're just about ready for some extra credit, but first, some more uh, people I want you to meet. Uh, these are the alternates from Coach Mary Harper's Owasso High School team. They include Nick Elliott, John Wolf, Anna Harkema, Kaylee Duquette, and Cassie Lester. We welcome all of them, and we welcome you back to High School Challenge for some extra credit. Teams, in this round, I'll ask you toss-ups as I did before. Rules are the same. The difference here is a correct answer gets 10 points plus a shot at 10 points worth extra credit. Remember, in the extra credit questions you may consult, I'll take the captain's answers on those, but I warn you to consult on extra credit only and not on the toss-ups. When the bell sounds at the end of time, if I'm in the middle of a toss-up extra credit cycle, we play all the way through before the game is officially over. Here we go with your first toss-up. Litmus is a water-soluble blue powder that changes color when exposed to acid. What color, uh, Brett Clio? Blue. Blue is incorrect. Litmus is a water-soluble blue powder that changes color when exposed to acid. What color does it become? Uh, Steve Owasso. Red. Red is acceptable. Red or pink? <clears throat> Owasso, the seven pillars of wisdom was his account of the Arab war against the Turks during World War I. Who was this legendary British soldier and scholar? Lawrence of Arabia. That's correct. The next toss-up, team. It's said that he died of a nosebleed on his wedding night, a bloody end for the bloody conqueror known in the 5th century as uh, Nolan Owasso. Attila the Hun. Attila the Hun is correct. <laughs> Owasso, Longfellow's Hiawatha begins <clears throat> by the shores of Gitche by the shiny big sea water. In what insistent tom-tom meter is it written? <laughs> Dimeter? Yeah, it's incorrect. Troche or trochaic. Mm. Your next toss-up. At constant temperature, the pressure of a confined gas is inversely proportional to its volume. Whose law is uh, Stephen K. Clio? Uh, Hen Henry's law. It's incorrect. At a constant temperature of, uh, at, at a constant temperature, uh, Nolan Owasso. Charles Law. Also incorrect, Boyle, Robert Boyle. Here's your next toss up. It's a set of things with some property in common. It's the biological level between phylum and order. It's a group, uh, Stephen K. Clio. Class. Class is correct. Clio, he was the last president born in a log cabin and the first to use a telephone. Who was president from March to September 1881? Rutherford B. Hayes. It's incorrect. James Garfield is the correct answer. Your next toss up. An unbroken fence stretches 3,307 miles across this continent. Uh, Nolan Owasso. Australia. Australia is correct. <laughs> Owasso, he wrote his great Leningrad Symphony during the siege of Leningrad by the German army during World War II. Who was this Russian composer? Uh, Sergei Prokofiev. It's incorrect. Uh, Dmitry Shostakovich is the correct answer. Here's your next toss-up. It's the story of a naive and optimistic young man who learns about the world the hard way and still remains an eternal optimist. Who is this title character of Voltaire's 1759 novel. Uh, Nolan Owasso. Candide. Candide is correct. <laughs> Owasso, his father's fancy goods shop, sells fancy jewelry on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Who was this Art Nouveau designer and glassmaker? Tiffany. Tiffany is correct. <laughs> <clears throat> Next toss up. Only kernels of corn with at least 14% water content will do this. Other, uh, Nolan Owasso. Pop. Pop is correct. <laughs> Owasso of Antietam, Chancellorsville, Fredericksburg, and Shiloh. Which two Civil War battles were fought in the same state? 
Fredericksburg and Chancellorsville? That's correct, both in Virginia. <laughs> Toss-up team, gardeners have been doing it for centuries. In the 20th century, it's been done with frogs, mice, calves, piglets. Uh, no one, Owasso? Cloning? Cloning is correct. Owasso, it's approximately equal to 2.71828. What letter designates the base of the, uh, of the natural logarithm? E. E is correct. <laughs> Toss-up teams discovered in 1799 in Egypt. It was the key to, uh, Nolan, Owasso? The Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is correct. Owasso and Dostoevsky's novel, they are Ivan, Dmitri, Alexei, and Shmerdakov. Who are these sons of your, uh, Theodore Pavlovich? The brothers Karamazov. That's correct. <laughs> Toss-up teams. It's negative 273 degrees. Uh, no one, Owasso. Absolute zero. Absolute zero is correct. Owasso Robert Redford shot most of his movie, A River Runs Through It, along this river, the longest undammed river in the United States. What river runs through southern Montana and northern Wyoming? The Flat? Flat's incorrect. Yellowstone River. <laughs> Next toss up. The largest airport in the world, more than 90 square miles, is the King Khalid Airport near Riyadh. Uh, Nolan Owasso. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is correct. <laughs> Owasso, it's a parallelogram with unequal adjacent sides. What is this geometrical shape? A rhombus? Uh, it's a rhomboid. A rhombus would have equal sides. Here's your next toss-up. Of the following three ancient musical instruments, which is the only string instrument? Uh, L.A. Owasso? It's incorrect. I try. Of the following three ancient musical instruments, which is the only string instrument? A shawm, a rebeck, or a sackbut? Uh, Stephen K. Clio. A rebeck? A rebeck is correct. <laughs> Clio, it was the site of the armistice signed on July 27, 1953, that ended the three-year Korean conflict. What is this village south of the 38th parallel? Pyongyang. It's incorrect. Pan Moon Jong is the correct answer. Next toss-up. This lake formed by the damming of the Nile River, uh, Nolan Owasso. Lake As <coughs> excuse me, Aswan. That's incorrect. This lake, formed by the damming of the Nile River at Aswan, is named for the first president of Egypt. Name him and you'll name the lake. Zach Clio. Nasser. Nasser is correct. <laughs> Clio, Quaker colonial artist Thomas Hicks painted several versions of his most famous painting in which the lion lies down with the lamb. What was its title? We have no idea. Time's up. Peaceful Kingdom is the answer. Your next toss-up. It's the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with 12 sides. How many degrees is that? Uh, no one, Owasso. 360. It's incorrect. Uh, there's the bell, but you may answer, Clio. Clio, Stephen K. 1800. 1800 is correct. Sweet. Come back. <laughs> well, we are in the middle of the cycle, so we can play this through. This Danish scientist won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1922 for his research into the structure of the atom. Who was he? And I'm afraid time is up. Niels Bohr is the answer to that one. And that brings us to the end of our game. And wow, I'll tell you, this season on High School Challenge, we are having a lot of points scored which is really a tribute to these players and coaches from throughout the area. 640 points scored, and a big congratulations to Owasso for moving on in High School Challenge. And, Clio, to you, congratulations on a season well played here at High School Challenge, and 
Good luck in the remainder of your academic competitions throughout the year. We have more academic competition right here on High School Challenge. Stay tuned. I'm Jim Gaver. Good day. <laughs> High School Challenge is a co-production of Michigan Television and the Genesee Intermediate School District.